Recently, I ran into a few studies showing that renting a home will be cheaper than buying a home of a similar size. Here is an example, but there is a fundamental flaw in their methodology. They do not factor in wealth building opportunities real estate presents, especially here in the Bay Area. You will be able to make a better informed decision when you think about buying a home versus renting as a multi-factor business case study. In this video, I'm going to run a few possible scenarios right in front of you. This is Michael Tallis with the Tallis team. Watch this video till the end. And if you find this information useful, click the like button, share this video, and subscribe to this channel. We appreciate your support. First, let's define a few terms. If you purchase a home with a loan, your monthly payment consists of principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. Many of you heard the abbreviation PITI. That's what it is referring to, principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. Paying principal is like moving your money from one pocket to another. Paid principal moves into equity in your home and instead of liability becomes your asset. Second, interest you pay on your loan is deductible for the purpose of income tax calculations. This tax deduction adds to the credit column of your family balance sheet. And third, we will assume that you can afford to either buy a home or rent a similar property. So the down payment you will keep by renting and all your monthly payment savings will be invested in some way and will bring you a meaningful return. For the purpose of this exercise, I use buy versus rent calculator by calculator.net. The link is in the description of this video. I preloaded the calculator with real Bay Area housing data using Santa Clara and San Mateo County as an example. So here looking at the MLS, median home sale price for a single family home in our area is $1.8 million. Back to calculator, home price 1.8. We use down payment of 20% and the interest rate of 6.5%. At the time of the recording of this video, based on Freddie Mac data, the 30-year fixed rate mortgage is about 6.5%. Loan term is 30 years, and we will keep buying closing costs at the default of 4%, even though in many cases, the actual closing costs are much lower. Then property tax is limited in California to 1%, but if you add local bond measures like school and library bonds, it's typically a little bit higher. So we're putting 1.15% a year. And then property tax increases are also limited by Prop 13 to 2% a year. We will set home insurance cost at $1,400 a year and no HOA fee. In our case, we're looking at a single family home. For the maintenance cost, let's keep the default of 1.5% which means that you're going to spend or set aside $27,000 during just the first year. Home appreciation value is 5% per year. If you look at Santa Clara and San Mateo counties, average between 2005 and 2022. 2005 is the oldest data available from our MLS. The cost of maintenance and insurance will be growing at 3% a year, also the default value, and selling cost will be 6%. Now we're going to the rental side of the calculator. As you can see, it is much simpler. Monthly rent for a three bedroom, two bathroom home in the Bay Area is around $4,500. We said rental fee increases annually to 4%. Renter's insurance, I kept the default of $15 a month. Security deposit is worth two months of rent and upfront cost, something like an application fee is $100. Average investment return will use the default of the calculator of 5%, marginal federal tax rate 25%, and for California, marginal state tax rate uh, will be 8%. Tax filing status married in jointly, and then hit calculate. As you can see, in this scenario, renting is initially less expensive till about seven year mark, 7.3 years to be exact. And after that, owning a home is less expensive than renting for as long as you own your home. If you watched my previous videos or talked to me, you know that I always say that we would recommend buying a home if you plan to own it for seven years or more. And this case confirms it. I can say scientifically.
like in any business study, let's change a few parameters to see the range of possible outcomes. So if the Feds will be able to get the inflation under control and the interest rates will drop to 5%, here is 5%, the break-even point will be even earlier at 4.9 years, almost two and a half years earlier than in previous scenario. And then let's go back again. In our initial example, we took average home appreciation rates for the period between 2005 and 2022. But this period includes the Great Recession of 2007-2009 that changed long-term home value trends. Over the last 10 years, between 2012 and 2022, home values were growing at over 10% rate, to be exact, 10 and a quarter. So plugging this in, hitting calculate, and break even point is less than two years, 1.6 years. Amazing. It takes less than two years for home ownership becoming more cost efficient than renting a home. But this is just one way to solve the dilemma of buying a home instead of renting a place, assuming that you can afford it either way. There are other, more personal reasons why people want to buy or rent their homes. Some people just want to own their home, while others prefer not to have any responsibilities of home ownership and prefer to call their landlords with any maintenance issues. If you own your home, you have more opportunities to customize it. Everything from the paint color to floor plan. You can even demolish it and build a new custom home that will fit your needs 100%. And if you are renting, you will have greater flexibility to move for a job, a school, or even just to a new neighborhood you like better. You also may have access to lucrative investment opportunities that may change the balance of buying versus renting decisions. This is Michael Tallis with the Tallis team. If you are thinking about buying or selling a home within the next year or even two, call or text me at 650-766-6100 or email me at michael at talisteam.com so we can plan your next move together. I am looking forward to connecting with you.